Contagious Curiosity presents India vs Australia Test Rivalry Reliving Thrilling Matches Through History Part 2 1979-80 Series India's first ever series victory against Australia Australia's 1979 tour of India was a fascinating one from India's view as they achieved their first ever series victory against Australia in 33 years. The Australian squad was an inexperienced one due to lack of star players who were playing in the World Series cricket. On top of it, the Australian team's form was in shambles like never before, losing series against West Indies 3-1, Ashes against England 5-1 and drawing series against Pakistan 1-0. Australia's tour got off to a rocky start when their plane experienced an engine failure just one hour after leaving Singapore forcing them to return. As a result, the Australian team arrived in India a staggering 22 hours behind schedule. Nevertheless, the inexperienced Australian team showed an indomitable spirit, living true to their reputation and managed to draw the first two test matches in Chennai and Bangalore respectively, with some assistance from the rain. However, in the third test match in Kanpur, India mounted a strong comeback in the second innings causing Australia to suffer a batting collapse and securing a 153-run victory, thus taking a 1-0 lead in the series. On Australia's side, their spirited performance in the next two test matches prevented any further setbacks, keeping the series alive. However, India was resolute this time, determined not to let go of the golden opportunity to secure its first series victory against Australia in eight attempts with a final scoreline of 2-0. 1980-81 series, first series of equals in Australia. In this gripping series, India showcased an inspiring tale of progression. Despite a comprehensive loss in the first test, they drew the second and won the third emphatically. While the scoreline suggested a closely contested battle, the truth is Australia dominated throughout and should have emerged as clear winners with a 3-0 series triumph. Yet, India's crucial and timely match-defining performances helped them draw the series and share their accolades. India displayed a never-say-die attitude, which was typically associated with their opponent Australia. The team had come well prepared for this series, with Kapil Dev leading their fast bowling department, which was missing back in 1977-78. It was this series that made Kapil Dev a household name, forever etching his place in cricketing history. The first test in Sydney proved to be a nightmare for India, as they were caught off guard and suffered a crushing defeat by an innings and four runs. The second test in Adelaide, however, would go down in history as a tale of resilience and escape. After Australia gained a substantial 109-run lead in the first innings, a draw seemed the most plausible outcome with just two days left in the match. As the final day unfolded with 75 overs remaining, Australia sensed an opportunity to push for victory and invited India to bat. India's batting performance was disastrous, giving Australia a glimmer of hope to snatch a win. The pressure mounted and it seemed like India's fate rested on the shoulders of the tail-enders Karsan Ghavri and Shivlal Yadav. In a race against time, Ghavri and Yadav defied all odds exhibiting immense courage and determination. Jumping and limping through each delivery, they held their ground, frustrating the Australian bowlers and upsetting their victory hopes. The final 10 overs became a nerve-wracking battle for survival. But Gavri and Yadav held firm, ensuring that India achieved a remarkable escape. The third test in Melbourne can be aptly described as an improbable heist. It was Australia's test to lose. They dominated every single session until Kapil Dev unleashed his brilliance. Australia, chasing a modest target of 143 to seal the series at 2-0, were ill-prepared for Kapil Dev's fiery deliveries. Bewildered, they completely surrendered to an extraordinary session of cricket, getting all out for a mere 83 runs. This unexpected turn of events changed the tide in India's favour and marked the arrival of a force to be reckoned with. Kapil Dev 
a reign that would continue for the next 14 years. Importantly, this series marked the first time Australia failed to secure a series win against India on their home turf. 1986-87 series, a tale of tight test. In 1986-87, the Australian cricket team toured India to play a three-match test series. This test series ended in a draw with one memorable tie in the first test. This tight result is only the second in the 131-year history of test cricket, with the first occurring between West Indies and Australia in 1960. In that tight first test in Chennai, Australia showcased impressive batting skills under sweltering heat with Dean Jones playing an outstanding inning of 210 runs. However, the challenging conditions took a toll on him and he was hospitalized for dehydration. Apparently, it was reported that he lost 8 kgs during that innings. Such extreme were the conditions. Three Australian batsmen, Dean Jones, Alan Border and David Boone scored centuries in the first innings as Australia declared at 574 for 7. India faced a tough battle, losing 7 wickets for 245 runs. Yet, a remarkable innings of 119 by Kapil Dev, along with partnerships with the tail-enders, saved India from a follow-on. With Australia setting a target of 348 runs in 90 overs, it was a demanding task on 5th day on a worn pitch. However, India pursued the target aggressively with contributions from their top-order batsmen. The match was finely poised for a thrilling finish, but as the tension mounted, India lost crucial wicket with only two remaining when they needed 14 runs. The battle of nerves intensified with each ball delivered, and ultimately, number 10 batsman Shivlal Yadav's attempted sweep resulted in a ball rolling onto the stumps. With just one run needed from two balls, number 11 batsman Maninder Singh tried to defend but was adjudged out. Maninder Singh was unhappy as he believed he got a nick. However, without the luxury of the DRS available today, the match ultimately ended in a thrilling tie. Since that match, no other test match has ended in a tie till date. The next two test matches in Delhi and Mumbai respectively were high-scoring but uneventful draws, leading to an even scoreline of 0-all for the series. 1996 Series – Debut of Border Gavaskar Trophy India vs Australia rivalry has grown significantly in the past decade. The cricket boards of both countries wanted to elevate the intensity and passion of this competitive rivalry. They decided to name it after two cricketing legends, Alan Border and Suleen Gavaskar. Thus, the Border Gavaskar Trophy was introduced in 1996. In the first chapter of this trophy, India emphatically won the lone test match in Delhi to claim the coveted trophy. 2000-2001 series The series like no other. Even after 23 years, recalling the memories of this series still sends shivers down my spine. It was a series filled with captivating stories that we fondly remember such as the epic partnership between VVS Lakshman and Rahul Dravid, the mesmerizing bowling spells by Harbhajan Singh, and the off-field remarks from both sides. The backdrop of the series was intriguing. India and the cricketing world were shaken by the match-fixing scandal, and the Indian team was in disarray. Mohammad Azaruddin was banned from cricket, and Sachin Tendulkar had relinquished the captaincy. Under the leadership of Saurav Ganguly, India was trying to rebuild the team and restore its stature in world cricket. On the other hand, Australia was dominating world cricket. Steve Waugh, their captain, referred to the series as the final frontier for the Australian juggernaut. Australians had dominated the first test with a 10-wicket victory in Mumbai and were well on their way to claiming the series victory. But what followed was pure cricketing magic. In the second test at Eden Gardens, Australia had a commanding lead of 274 runs after the first innings and India was forced to follow on. The Australian victory and series win appeared inevitable. The decision to enforce the follow-on was a contentious one, with disagreements between Steve Waugh, Shane Vaughan and coach John Buchanan. 
One was against the decision, but Steve was arrogant from the 16-match winning streak, led him to enforce it. Buchanan later admitted that they should have thought it through more. What followed from there was a rarity in the 100 plus years of test cricket history. A team winning test match after being made to follow on. Lakshman, who was only 60% fit and Dravid, who was battling a fever, batted throughout the fourth day, forging a partnership of 376 runs. They allowed India to set a target of 384 runs for Australia in 70 overs. Harbhajan Singh once again weaved his pin web and Australia was bundled out for 212 with two overs to spare in the day. This match is widely regarded as one of the greatest ever witnessed in cricket and a defining moment for the contemporary Indian team. I feel honoured that I had an incredible experience to witness this epic match live in the stadium. India went on to win the third test match in Chennai by two wickets and clinched the series 2-1, shattering Australia's dream of claiming the final frontier. This series will forever be etched in the hearts of passionate cricket fans. This video showcases India's remarkable progress in the 1980s and 90s as they began winning more matches against Australia and achieved consistent success throughout the 1990s and early 2000s clinching numerous test matches and series against their rivals. Join us in the next innings of India vs Australia test rivalry, reliving thrilling matches through history as we uncover the saga of the next two decades. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with friends and family to receive notification for our upcoming video.